right, guys, we're going to do a really quick and easy one today. You know, not all diagnostics have to use your brain with uh, computer technology and the sensors and electrical and all that. The easiest diagnostics to make by far are mechanical diagnostics because you can actually see the failure or even hear it or whatever. And that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to do a very basic mechanical diagnosis. But even though they're extremely easy, you still have to use the right technique. And what the purpose of this video is going to be is to show you how a real common technique that a lot of people would use for the car that has the symptoms I'm about to describe doesn't always work. And you kind of have to mix things up a little bit. So what we've got is an Acura MDX in here. It has a phenomenon where when you take off from a stoplight, there's a kind of a clunking sound with it one time and then the vehicle's good to go but every time you come to a stop you take off from that stop and again clunk all kinds of things can cause this it could be loose components loose exhaust system bad ball joints uh, bad engine mounts or something like will be the case in this one i've already diagnosed it but uh, a lot of people are going to diagnose this incorrectly or miss it because they don't use the proper procedure. So I'm going to show you a little trick here. Let's take a look at our setup here. So what I've done is I've raised the vehicle up off the ground so the wheels are safely away from contact from the ground. That allows me to get under the vehicle while the owner basically can do things like drive the vehicle, switch from reverse to drive to reverse to drive, all kinds of things that would cause stress on that system so we can see the component that is actually moving causing the clunking. Now, most people are going to test if they suspect the engine mounts by rocking back and forth from drive to reverse to drive to reverse. So let's do that and see if we can identify the issue. All right, what I'm focused on right now is indeed the bad engine mount. And what we're going to do is what most YouTube videos recommend that you would do to identify a bad engine mount. So let's go ahead and do that. You would start the car, foot on the brake, and with the foot on the brake, you just simply rock back and forth from reverse to drive. So let's reverse, drive, reverse, drive, reverse drive and you can hear it shifting but as you see you really cannot see that there is anything wrong with that engine mount and you would just move on to the next thing and uh, if you checked all the mounts in the car you would then move on to suspecting it must have some other issues on a car like this with 178,000 miles you're going to start replacing front end components all kinds of things with this so now let's do this with another technique and that is going to be we're going to put the car into drive and i'm just going to let off on the brake let the wheels free spin and then i'm going to just sharply hit the brake and watch what happens Check that again, lit off on the brake, and then just sharply press the brake. And now we can see, now we can see there's a dramatic difference there. So really good technique to use in those complaints where people hear these thunks or clunks under the car, feels like something's shifting. You can actually feel this rattle under the car much worse than when you're actually driving it, which was the original complaint. All right, I know you guys like to see proof of the concept. So here is the broken engine mount that I just removed. And you can see clearly very much broken causing our problem. It was the only mount that was bad, by the way. So you can see a little bit surprising that the tried and true method often taught on YouTube of rocking back and forth from drive to reverse would not have helped in this diagnosis in this case. Uh, just for comparison, this is the new mount to install and you can see not broken, no motion. So, oh, what a useless video. He didn't show us how to replace the mount. So a couple real quick notes for the two percenters. We will be on Schrodinger's Box Quantum Mechanics, schrodingersboxqm.com with some new videos coming soon. Had some things coming up for work, but got it resolved. We'll especially catch up some of the cliffhanger videos and seeing uh, the diagnosis and repair on a couple of the videos previously that you guys are waiting on. Final note, you guys in developing nations, please make sure you get in contact with me. Give me your email address and contact info so that we can set you up for free access on Schrodinger's box, quantummechanics.com. I need to hear from the rest of you guys. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful. We'll see you next time.